Windows 1.0 was released on November 20, 1985, as the first version of the Microsoft Windows line. It is a graphical personal computer operating environment system, developed by Microsoft who had worked with Apple Computer to develop applications for Apple's in January 1984 original Macintosh. It runs as a graphical, 16-bit multitasking shell on top of an existing MS-DOS installation. It provides an environment which can run graphical programs designed for Windows, as well as existing MS-DOS software. Its development was spearheaded by the company founder Bill Gates after he saw a demonstration of a similar software suite known as Vision at Comdex. Despite positive responses to its early presentations and support from a number of hardware and software makers, Windows 1.0 was received poorly by critics. Critics felt Windows 1.0 did not meet their expectations. In particular, they felt that Windows 1.0 put too much emphasis on mouse input at a time when mouse use was not yet widespread, not providing enough resources for new users. And for performance issues, especially on systems with lower computer hardware specifications. Despite these criticisms, Windows 1.0 was an important milestone for Microsoft. Windows 2.0 allowed application windows to overlap each other, unlike its predecessor, Windows 1.0, which could display only tiled windows. It also introduced more sophisticated keyboard shortcuts, and the terminology of minimize and maximize as opposed to iconize and zoom in Windows 1.0. The basic window setup introduced here would last through Windows 3.1. New features in Windows 2.0 included support for the new capabilities of the 80386 CPU, in some version C editions, 16 color VGA graphics and EMS memory support. It was also the last version of Windows that did not require a hard disk, with the improved speed, reliability and usability. Computers now started becoming a part of daily life for some workers. Desktop icons and use of keyboard shortcuts help to speed up work. Windows 3.0 is the third major release of Microsoft Windows, launched in 1990. Like its predecessors, it is not an operating system, but rather a graphical operating environment, that runs on top of DOS. It features a new graphical user interface, GUI, where applications are represented as clickable icons, as opposed to the list of file names seen in its predecessors. Later updates would expand the software's capabilities, one of which added multimedia support for sound recording and playback, as well as support for CD-ROMs.
Windows 3.0 is the first version of Windows to perform well both critically and commercially. Critics and users considered its GUI to be a challenger to those of Apple Macintosh and Enix. Other praised features were the improved multitasking, customizability, and especially the utilitarian management of computer memory that troubled the users of Windows 3.0's predecessors. Windows 3.0 sold 10 million copies before it was succeeded by Windows 3.1 in 1992. Windows 3.1 X is a series of 16-bit operating environments produced by Microsoft for use on personal computers, released on April 6, 1992. The series began with Windows 3.1, which was first sold during April 1992 as a successor to Windows 3.0. Subsequent versions were released between 1992 and 1993 until the series was superseded by the Windows 9X series starting in 1995 with Windows 95. During its lifespan, Windows 3.1 introduced several enhancements to the still MS-DOS-based platform, including improved system stability, expanded support for multimedia, TrueType fonts, and workgroup networking. Official support for Windows 3.1 ended on December 31, 2001. However, OEM licensing for Windows for Workgroups 3.11 on embedded systems continued to be available until November 1, 2008. Windows NT 3.1 is an operating system that was produced by Microsoft as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was released on July 27, 1993. At the time of Windows NT's release, Microsoft's Windows 3.1 desktop environment had established brand recognition and market share. But Windows 3.1 relied on the DOS operating system for essential functions, and it had a constrictive 16-bit architecture. Windows NT, however, was a complete, 32-bit operating system that retained a desktop environment familiar to Windows 3.1 users. By extending the Windows brand and beginning Windows NT at version 3.1, Microsoft implied that consumers should expect a familiar user experience. The name Windows NT, new technology, advertised that this was a re-engineered version of Windows. Windows NT began as a rewrite of the OS2 operating system, which Microsoft had co-developed with IBM in the 1980s. For several reasons, including the market success of Windows 3.0 in 1990, Microsoft decided to advance Windows rather than OS2. They relinquished their OS2 development responsibilities to IBM, and forked their work on OS2 v3.0 into a competing operating system. Windows NT 3.1 was available in two editions, Windows NT 3.1 for workstations, and Windows NT 3.1 Advanced Server for Servers. When these premiered, their sales were limited by high system requirements, and a general lack of 32-bit applications to take advantage of the OS's data processing capabilities. Windows 95 is a consumer-oriented operating system developed by Microsoft as part of its Windows 9X family of operating systems. 
the first operating system in the 9x family. It is the successor to Windows 3.1x, and was released to manufacturing on August 15, 1995, and generally to retail on August 24, 1995. Windows 95 merged Microsoft's formerly separate, MS-DOS and Microsoft Windows products, and featured significant improvements over its predecessor. Most notably in the graphical user interface, GUI, and in its simplified plug-and-play features. There were also major changes made to the core components of the operating system. Such as moving from a mainly cooperatively multitasked 16-bit architecture to a 32-bit preemptive multitasking architecture, at least when running only 32-bit protected mode applications. Accompanied by an extensive marketing campaign, Windows 95 introduced numerous functions and features that were featured in later Windows versions, such as the taskbar, notification area, and the start button. Three years after its introduction, Windows 95 was followed by Windows 98. Microsoft ended extended support for Windows 95 on December 31, 2001. The initial design and planning of Windows 95 can be traced back to around March 1992, just around the time before the release of Windows 3.1. At this time, Windows for Workgroups 3.11 and Windows NT 3.1 were still in development and Microsoft's plan for the future was focused on Cairo. Cairo would be Microsoft's next generation operating system based on Windows NT. Windows NT 4.0 is an operating system that is part of Microsoft's Windows NT family of operating systems. It was released to manufacturing on July 31, 1996, and was launched to retail on August 24, 1996. It was Microsoft's primary business-oriented operating system until the introduction of Windows 2000. Workstation, server and embedded editions were sold. All editions feature a graphical user interface similar to that of Windows 95. Microsoft ended mainstream support for Windows NT 4.0 Workstation on June 30, 2002 and extended support on June 30, 2004, while Windows NT 4.0 Server mainstream support ended on December 31, 2002 and extended support on December 31, 2004. Both editions were succeeded by Windows 2000 Professional and Server respectively. The successor to Windows NT 3.51, Windows NT 4.0 introduced the user interface of Windows 95 to the Windows NT family, including the Windows Shell. File Explorer, known as Windows NT Explorer at the time, and the use of my nomenclature for shell folders, for example my computer. It also includes most components introduced with Windows 95. Internally, Windows NT 4.0 was known as the Shell Update Release SUR. While many administrative tools, notably User Manager for Domains, Server Manager and Domain Name Service Manager still used the old graphical user interfaces. Windows NT 3.51 is the third release of Microsoft's Windows NT line of operating systems. It was released on May 30, 1995, nine months after the release of Windows NT 3.5, and three months before the release of Windows 95. The most significant enhancement offered in this release was that it provides client-server support for interoperating with Windows 95, which was released three months after NT 3.51. Windows NT 4.0 became its successor a year later. Support for NT 3.51 ended in 2001 and 2002 for the workstation and server editions, respectively. The release of Windows NT 3.51 was dubbed the Power PC release at Microsoft.
The original intention was to release a power PC edition of NT 3.5, but according to Microsoft's David Thompson, we basically sat around for 9 months fixing bugs while we waited for IBM to finish the power PC hardware. Editions of NT 3.51 were also released for the x86, MIPS, and Alpha architectures. Windows 98 is an operating system developed by Microsoft as part of its Windows 9X family of Microsoft Windows operating systems. It is the successor to Windows 95, and was released to manufacturing on May 15, 1998, and generally to retail on June 25, 1998. Like its predecessor, it is a hybrid 16-bit and 32-bit monolithic product with a boot stage based on MS-DOS. Windows 98 is a heavily web-integrated operating system that bears numerous similarities to its predecessor, with most of the improvements being cosmetic or designed to improve the user experience. But there are a handful of features that enhance system functionality and capabilities. These include improved USB support and accessibility, as well as support for hardware advancements such as DVD players. It was the first Windows operating system to adopt the Windows driver model. It also introduced features that would become standard in future generations of Windows, such as disk cleanup, Windows update, multi-monitor support, and internet connection sharing. Microsoft had marketed Windows 98 as a tune-up to Windows 95, rather than an entirely improved next generation of Windows. Upon release, it was generally well received for its web-integrated interface and ease of use as well as for addressing issues that had been present in Windows 95. Though users had pointed out that it was not significantly more stable than its predecessor, it saw one major update called Windows 98 Second Edition, SE, on May 5, 1999, and was succeeded by Windows Me in 2000. It sold an estimated 58 million licenses. Windows 2000 is a business-oriented operating system that was produced by Microsoft and was released as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was succeeded by Windows XP in 2001, releasing to manufacturing on December 15, 1999 and being officially released to retail on February 17, 2000. It is the successor to Windows NT 4.0. Four editions of Windows 2000 were released, Professional, Server, Advanced Server, and Data Center Server, the latter was both released to manufacturing and launched months after the other editions. While each edition of Windows 2000 was targeted at a different market, they shared a core set of features, including many system utilities such as the Microsoft Management Console and standard system administration applications. Windows 2000 introduces NTFS 3.0, encrypting file system, as well as basic and dynamic disk storage. Support for people with disabilities was improved over Windows NT 4.0 with a number of new assistive technologies, and Microsoft increased support for different languages and locale information. The Windows 2000 server family has additional features, most notably the introduction of Active Directory, which in the years following became a widely used directory service in business environments.
Windows Millennium Edition, or Windows Me, marketed with the pronunciation of the pronoun Me, is a graphical operating system developed by Microsoft as part of its Windows 9X family of operating systems. It is the successor to Windows 98 Second Edition SA, and was released to manufacturing on June 19, 2000, with general availability on September 14, 2000. Windows Me was the last operating system released in the Windows 9X series which was targeted specifically at home PC users, and included Internet Explorer 5.5, Windows Media Player 7, and the new Windows Movie Maker software, which provided basic video editing and was designed to be easy to use for home users. Microsoft also incorporated features first introduced in Windows 2000, which had been released as a business-oriented operating system seven months earlier, into the graphical user interface, Shell, and Windows Explorer. Windows Me was a continuation of the Windows 9X model and still DOS based like its predecessors, albeit with restricted access to real mode MS-DOS in order to decrease system boot time. Windows XP is an operating system produced by Microsoft as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was the successor to both Windows 2000 for professional users and Windows Me for home users. It was released to manufacturing on August 24, 2001, and broadly released for retail sale on October 25, 2001. Development of Windows XP began in the late 1990s as Neptune an operating system OS, built on the Windows NT kernel which was intended specifically for mainstream consumer use. An updated version of Windows 2000 was also originally planned for the business market. However, in January 2000, both projects were scrapped in favor of a single OS code named Whistler which would serve as a single OS platform for both consumer and business markets. As such, Windows XP was the first consumer edition of Windows not to be based on MS-DOS. Upon its release, Windows XP received critical acclaim, with critics noting increased performance and stability, especially in comparison to Windows Me, a more intuitive user interface, improved hardware support, and expanded multimedia capabilities. Windows Vista is an operating system produced by Microsoft as a member of the Windows NT family of operating systems for use on personal computers. Development was completed on November 8, 2006, and over the following three months, it was released in stages to computer hardware and software manufacturers, business customers and retail channels. On January 30, 2007, it was released worldwide and was made available for purchase and download from the Windows Marketplace. It is the first release of Windows to be made available through a digital distribution platform. The release of Windows Vista came more than five years after the introduction of its predecessor, Windows XP. The longest time span between successive releases of Microsoft Windows desktop operating systems. New features of Windows Vista include an updated graphical user interface and visual style dubbed arrow, a new search component called Windows Search, redesigned networking, audio print and display subsystems, and new multimedia tools such as Windows DVD Maker. Vista aimed to increase the level of communication between machines on a home network, using peer-to-peer -peer technology to simplify sharing files and media between computers and devices. 
Windows Vista included version 3.0 of the Net Framework, allowing software developers to write applications without traditional Windows APIs. Microsoft's primary stated objective with Windows Vista was to improve the state of security in the Windows operating system. One common criticism of Windows XP and its predecessors was their commonly exploited security vulnerabilities and overall susceptibility to malware, viruses and buffer overflows. Windows 7 is an operating system that was produced by Microsoft and released as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was released to manufacturing on July 22, 2009, and became generally available on October 22 of the same year, and is the operating system for use on personal computers, including home and business desktops, laptops, tablet PCs and media center PCs. It is the successor to Windows Vista, released two years prior. Windows 7 Server counterpart, Windows Server 2008 R2, was released at the same time. The last supported version of Windows based on this operating system was released on July 1, 2011, entitled Windows Embedded POS ED7. On January 12, 2016 Microsoft ended support for Internet Explorer versions prior to Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 7. Extended support ended on January 14, 2020, age 10 since the release of Windows 7. After which the operating system ceased receiving further support or security updates, with exceptional security updates being made for example in 2019, to address potential ransomware threats. Like Bluekeep, to most users, Windows 7 was primarily intended to be an incremental upgrade to Microsoft Windows, addressing Windows Vista's poor critical reception while maintaining hardware and software compatibility. Windows 7 continued improvements on Windows Aero, the user interface introduced in Windows Vista, with the addition of a redesigned taskbar that allows applications to be pinned to it. Windows 8 is an operating system that was produced by Microsoft, released as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. The product was released to manufacturing on August 1, 2012, and generally to retail on October 26, 2012. It is the successor to Windows 7. Windows 8 introduced major changes to the operating system's platform and user interface to improve its user experience on tablets, where Windows was now competing with mobile operating systems, including Android and iOS. In particular, these changes included a touch-optimized Windows shell based on Microsoft's Metro design language. The start screen, which displays programs and dynamically updated content on a grid of tiles, a new platform for developing apps with an emphasis on touchscreen input. Integration with online services, including the ability to synchronize apps and settings between devices, and Windows Store, an online distribution for downloading and purchasing new software. Windows 8 added support for USB 3.0, advanced format hard drives, near-field communications, and cloud computing. Additional security features were introduced, such as built-in antivirus software, integration with Microsoft's smart screen phishing filtering service and support for UFI secure boot on supported devices with UFI firmware, to prevent malware from infecting the boot process. Windows 8.1 is an operating system that was produced by Microsoft and released as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was released to manufacturing on August 27, 2013, and broadly released for retail sale on October 17, 2013, about a year after the retail release of its predecessor. Windows 8.1 was made available for download via MSDN and TechNet and available as a free upgrade for retail copies of Windows 8 and Windows RT users via the Windows Store. It was succeeded by Windows 10 in July 2015. 
a server counterpart was released on October 18, 2013, entitled Windows Server 2012 R2. Microsoft ended mainstream support for Windows 8.1 on January 9, 2018, and extended support will have ended by January 10, 2023. Windows 8.1 aimed to address complaints of Windows 8 users and reviewers on launch. Visible enhancements include an improved start screen, additional snap views, additional bundled apps, tighter OneDrive, formerly SkyDrive, integration, Internet Explorer 11, IE 11, a Bing-powered unified search system, restoration of a visible start button on the taskbar, and the ability to restore the previous behavior of opening the user's desktop on login instead of the start screen. IE11 is also shipped with Windows 10 on its release on July 29, 2015, but Microsoft Edge is the default browser in this version of Windows. Windows 10 is a series of operating systems developed by Microsoft and released as part of its Windows NT family of operating systems. It is the successor to Windows 8.1, released nearly two years earlier, and was released to manufacturing on July 15, 2015 and broadly released for the general public on July 29, 2015. Windows 10 was made available for download via MSTN and TechNet, and as a free upgrade for retail copies of Windows 8 and Windows RT users via the Windows Store. Windows 10 receives new builds on an ongoing basis, which are available at no additional cost to users, in addition to additional test builds of Windows 10, which are available to Windows insiders. Devices in enterprise environments can receive these updates at a slower pace, or use long-term support milestones that only receive critical updates, such as security patches. Over their 10-year lifespan of extended support, one of Windows 10's most notable features is its support for universal apps, an expansion of the Metro style first introduced in Windows 8.